viewers to our channel Just Reef Farm. Um, today we're gonna do some explanation on our corn and pumpkin field today. So here we have Mr. Simpson with us today. He's gonna explain to you exactly what's happening on our corn and pumpkin intercropping field today. So Mr. Simpson will give us some outline of what is going on and how to grow corn. Assalamu alaikum my viewers. Thank you again for tuning in to our YouTube channel Just Street Farms TV. And today I'm here to really um, give you an insight into our corn, otherwise known as maize in some countries. And we have intercropped it with pumpkin. This is a nice um, way to intercrop um, in your 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 um, farming because what it does is that corns grow up which is um, horizontally while vertically while um, pumpkins grow horizontally you know so this is a nice way to um, actually intercrop your crops you know because they won't affect each other because one is growing vertically one is growing horizontally you know um, sweet corns and pumpkin are uh, very um, nice crops you know they, they, they fetch um, good yield as well, well as they're um, very rewarding in terms of um, finances you know so it's very important that you have some of these uh, short-term crops you know and very um, sweet corns and pumpkin are very demanding uh, products you know and I encourage persons to really get into this uh, type of farming but I'm going to ask uh, our cameraman to, to do a, a um, close, close down shot you know these corns have been planted um, three weeks ago the two and a half weeks ago and as you can see these are in very good um, shape at the moment you know one of the things you have to ensure is that you look closely on the head of the um, at the crown, the head of the, 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 the plant to ensure that it's uh, free from worms and diseases. You know, so as you can see here, this one is very clean based on um, inspection. And as well as you can see the, pun the pumpkin as well, it is very clean. You can see under the leaves, you know, you can see where you have this dark green look, you know, which is represents the presence of nitrogen. Nitrogen is very important to the, the crops at this stage, you know, um, when you reach up to uh, um, probably a few more um, days or weeks where we uh, try to apply some more phosphorus uh, as well as potassium right um, this is a 10 week um, 10 weeks crop corn but you know uh, pumpkin is um, a much longer crop than corn so we plan to um, so some people might wonder why we uh, the rows are so uh, wide in space but you know because of the intercropping because of the spread of the pumpkin we have to allow this level of spacing. If we, if we weren't going to um, plant the pumpkin um, through the scrap, you know, so probably we'd have um, like two more rows in between um, these that we have here now. As, as uh, if you can notice as well, we try to plant on both sides of the irrigation line. You know, so as you can see, we plant had the ir irrigation line in the middle. And the plant on both sides of the irrigation line. We do our nutrients, our feeding program through the, 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 the irrigation line, which is our drip line. So we do uh, feed our nutrients through the drip as well as our water that um, goes uh, through the drip. Um, I asked our cameraman to also, you know, just give you, to show you, you know, a little of what is happening. 
at the moment so as you can see the pumpkins are very nicely laid out you know they're, they're nicely um laid out you know so it's a, it's a very good look you know um, we're very pleased with what we're seeing you know it's it takes a lot of work you know especially you have to have the right um, spray program you know whether you're going um, organic or uh, synthetic you know you have to ensure that you have the right uh, spraying program because we try to spray our car like um, every three weeks every three days sorry every three days you know because um, it's a crop that um, the worms um, like a lot you know so you have to always ensure that you have the right spraying program that is very effective as well because sometimes a lot of people would use um, a spray program that is not effective they're using very expensive uh, sprays but they're not seeing results we try to use spr it's our spraying uh, sometimes we use organic you know as I said we're probably in most of our farming like watermelon we're around 85 percent organic with the corn uh, we are not we have not reached the 85 percent um, target as yet with the corn but we are there probably around 45 to, to 55 percent now in terms of um, organic application you know to our organic we apply molasses you know um, sometimes we apply humic acid through the uh, drip line as well which is humic acid is from you know uh, decay trees and leaves etc you know so we try to to to, to apply these um, types of products you know through the um, through our um, nutrition program as well as we are also looking into um, the, the, the whole aspect of seaweed as well we, we, we try to, to, to um, get into that as well our seaweed you know but hopefully you know we, we try to develop the, the right uh, mechanisms and try to share the information as we are doing now you know we try to uh, record and um, our studies and research that we are doing uh, presently you know um, to make them as cost effective as possible because this is one of our main aims you know to really uh, be effective at low cost and that is our objective you know and thank you again guys you know um, as the crop progress we will show you more videos and we will explain to you more you know um, of of how um, our corn, maize and pumpkin crop is progressing and as we say from Just Three Farms and Jamaica we say big up yourself and masalama goodbye